Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you. Um, we're going to make some Christmas cards. So we're actually going to make a 10 Christmas cards using some embellishments that we made in yesterday's video. So here they all are. They're absolutely stunning. We're going to use this paper pad. So this is um, a beautiful Christmas and it's from a craft box. Absolutely gorgeous. And it came in last year's, um, before they changed how the craft box is, they, um, they used to do it every month. Now it's every three months. But I just, I can't pay out, um, I think it's like something like £55 now for the box. And I just can't pay out that much money. So not in one go. I do want other things, but yeah. Um, anyway, so that is what I have. Now I have these in my stash. These are gateful cards. I thought we could use them. Also, I have some peel-offs here. Um, I do have more in the cupboard if we need them. And then just next to me is my bit box. Um, so we can use the bit box as well if we need to add extra embellishments. So that is what we're going to do. So um, what I need to do is grab my glue. So I have it here. Um, and it just needs to sort of be upside down for a moment. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get 10 sheets of paper out um, for each piece to go on. Because we're going to, like I said, we're going to make 10 cards. So I want 10 plain sheets if I can. So that's three. Ooh, that one would be nice. Four. Um, five. Uh, maybe that's six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Do we have one more that's quite plain? Um, I think that one might be the closest. Um, no, that one. Okay, we also have a cut of parts in the back of this, which I didn't notice. So that's really cool. Right, okay, now that that's done. So what I'm going to do, um, I do have my hot glue gun as well. So let's move that on. Um, I'm just going to measure my card bases, just so that I know exactly where I need to cut everything down to. So that is actually just under five and a half. Uh, just over, sorry, five and a half. So it's it's like um, what five and um, well, I'm gonna cut it down at five and a half. So so five and a half, and then cut it at two and three quarters. I think is that right? Two. So five and a half. No. So it's two and a half. Yeah, two and three quarters, and then cut it at two and three quarters, and it should be yeah. So I'm going to do that to all of them. So five and a half by five and a half and then cut it down to two and three quarters. So it's like we are mass making today with our cards. Um, but I'm just thinking if we get them, yeah, if we get all nice like everything cut we can then just start sticking and having fun okay so again so how is everybody doing i hope you're all well um and did you catch yesterday's video where we made the embellishments i hope you did um yeah i had so much fun with that so really really enjoyed it five and a half um so lucy is off school um well college keep saying school but yeah i mean technically she is it's at her old school but it's um they have a college on site which is just absolutely awesome um so my phone keeps going off i just thought the postman hasn't been today which is a shame. I'm actually waiting on Craft Stash had a sale over the weekend. Um, I got an email to say that the magazines were half price. So all the magazines that I didn't get 
um, I may have ordered myself <laughs> like I don't have enough of them but yeah um, I thought it was definitely definitely worth it so um, I'm waiting for them to come so I'll do a little haul video when they do arrive and um, yeah no doubt I will do a video for each each magazine as well right we're on the last the, on the last one um, so that would be fun I love playing with magazines and the gifts that are coming then because um, I don't know I just I love the challenge of just trying to create something just with that I just think it's fab right okay I'm just gonna pop these just off to the side because we could use them so I've just put them over there right and then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my glue and we're just gonna start gluing these down so like I said this is gonna be pretty much <laughs> Um, like we are, um, oh, what do you call it? Oh, have I done that the wrong way? I've done that the wrong way, guys. Oh, just turn it that way. You don't need to take it off. Oh, unbelievable. I think it's going to be one of those days where, you know, you just don't think right of anything. Mm. Right, I have just noticed these cards are not folded very equal, but that's okay. Right, okay, so we've got that. Um, this is the one that was drawing me to it. I do think I want to add some ink though, so um, I think it might go with the festive berries, which is my red, so do I, yes, there it is. So I'm just gonna go around. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I always ruin it when I do it like that. Um, I try, I can only do it with the the ink dobbers and um, that way so now I'm gonna have to really lay it on just so that it looks all okay oh look at that isn't that lovely right I'm just trying to pick up that ink off my um, mat onto this um, yeah okay just cuz yeah that's why we have the glass mat okay right Oh, loving that and look at that I mean that helps that just go on there really really nicely so I'm thinking of just sticking that on there so let's move this out of the way now do I want to add anything else to this um, that is the question isn't it um, so I don't know whether or not to you know put something just in this corner oh do something like that. Um, just gonna colour that in the red, just so that it it matches. Well, I'm thinking maybe something like that. So let's go around, and I'm not picking up any more off my brush because, like I said, I've got some on my mat. So if we can use what's on the mat, then I'd be happy just to do that. So I'm thinking just there and then when you open the card up you see that yeah I like that okay so I'm just going to glue this on that's just going to go there and then use my hot glue gun just to glue the um what do you call it the little Christmas tree right and then yeah I like that and then just glue in half of this do you know what I want to back this I actually want to back half of it off um, do I want to do it with this or hmm. oh, do I just want to do it with white card that's the, that's the thing just because we've got that there so do you know what let's just back it with some white card so this is just um, A5 white cardstock and it's 160 GSM so um, and I think the brand of that one is Image. Um, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> that just threw at me. I think they want me to use it. Anyway, I hope nothing else falls. That's really spooky because that was actually on perfectly. And the other ones are there. They haven't moved. Anyway, yeah. Um, so it's okay for Copic markers, but I would definitely, definitely highly suggest um, using um, a thicker paper. 
um, for your Corpix, so like a 200 GSM. Um, I use the HP one and I absolutely love it. Like, really, really love it. So, um, and it is the price point for me as well is really, really good. So, it costs like I think it's £22 for 500 um, sheets of 200. So, yeah, um, and I just get mine off eBay. So, I just normally put in. Um, Oh, in the search engine I'll just pop in that uh, what I want and see what what I can get at the time so I don't like stick to one person where I buy it from um, it really is just um, either in Google I'll pop in HP super I think it's HP smooth um, 200 GSM cardstock is what I, I normally pop in Right, so that's, I mean, that looks so much better on the back. So now we're just going to glue this half to our card, like so. And I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I can feel a sneeze in my nose. Oh, look at that. And then when you open that, we have that so inside what we're going to do um i'm not going to use right let's grab the pinks out i'm not going to use um any more patterned paper i think what i'm going to use is so i've got a couple of sheets of the lighter pink there um there's a sheet of light pink so just oh rip that any more um, that one could be used right okay so you, let's just use that what we have at the moment so and I'm going to take some more of that cards white card stock so I've just grabbed a few sheets right okay and then what we're going to do is inside the card I'm going to do some matted layers so we're just going to do so measure this right um I want that one cut off so this is going to be five and a half squared okay and then I'm going to have the white bit let's see how big this one is let's have the white bit four and a half squared just because that's the size that this piece is okay and then inside I'm just going to pop this like so and get a nice it nice and even and then we're going to grab the white cardstock and then put that so that it's nice and even and then just so that everything sort of matches in together I'm just going to root in my um, box and see what we what we have um, I do have this Christmas tree which I really like so I can go on just like that so there it is so that is our first card how nice is that so there's number one Okay, let's do the second one. So let's start by gluing down our paper. So they're all going to be more or less of the same sort of style. Um, but hopefully it will look really nice. Um, so yeah, it's just about adding different bits and pieces, isn't it? Oh, I like that there. Oh, that's going to go on there. <laughs> it just has to because it does look so cute. Oh, that one actually looks really nice on there. And I love that lantern. Now, um, in my little box. Oh, let's see what we've got over here. Because I know a few bits fell down the back. Um... I'm wondering whether to sort of, you know, have it, yeah, I like that, so I'm going to pop that on. Okay, just like that. don't think I want to ink around this one. 
Um, I think I'd like to sort of leave. Oh, yes, I like that. So if I like it, it's just it, we're just going to go with it. Um, because I think sometimes that's the best way to be. Now I do want to see if I've got. Um, right, I'm just going to. I'm just sort of hunting through just to see what I have because I know there's a lantern somewhere. Um, I don't, but I'm not sure how many of the lanterns that I actually cut out either. So, um, yeah, how typical is that? I can't find one. Okay, let's see what's in here got to be one in here surely well there isn't so I'm thinking that I've used them all up and I'm not going to um, I'm not going to cut any more just because yeah um, I don't really want to oh, I like that right okay so we don't need to add any glue anything onto the back of this one but I do need to because it already looks nice that bit of glue and then that's just going to sit just like that okay so and I do realize that the desk is a little bit of a mess so let's sort of try and tidy up as we go well try <laughs> can't promise anything okay so there's that one so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some card down um, so I'm going to do, um, actually I'm going to do five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm going to do the, the next card as well while I'm here. So, um, quarter. Do you know what? Should we do them all? Okay, so... There we go, and then we just—it just means that we have them, them ready for when we need them. <coughs> yeah, right, Ruby. Just got a headphones in as usual. Okay, so I will have to get some more white. Uh, not white, sorry. Um, yeah, pink card stock it out because I don't think we're going to have enough here. But it will do us for now. So all of that will go back in my pink scraps box. So I'm just going to put that over there for now. So, oh, do you know what we needed to do? We need to cut these down. So they are five and a quarter. So I'm going to do these at four and a half. So four and a half by and a half like so so it will be it will keep us going yeah good time are we in? I don't want um, this sort of video to be too long but I bet it's going to be it's definitely going to be over an hour I think um, but I think once we've got everything cut down um, I don't think it's going to take us long <laughs> at all to do so yeah okay. And right, the last one. And then, yeah. Right, okay. So again, all of this white card is going to go in my white scraps. So I'll do that once I'm, I'm finished and we can tidy away. Okay, so inside of here, let's stick our pink card stuff. like so oh, how nice does that look and then let's put our white in so the white again is for us to write on and then i'm going to stick this on just at the bottom so like so because why not there we go and maybe uh, just make sure they're cut. Um, don't know whether to put the Merry Christmas on or not. 
Oh. Oh. I might just have the special hand. Yeah, let's just put the special handling on. Okay. I like that. Right. Perfect. Mm. Okay. So that is um, card number two. Right. Okay. So now we've done that. Let's go on to our third card. So let me grab the papers and we'll go with the, the holly papers. So let's glue. So once you've made your embellishments, you'll find that it's so easy to pop those cards together to actually, you know, turn them into cards because you've done the hard work by actually, you know, doing all your composition um, of your piece um, before putting it on. And I think sometimes it can be easier to make your cards this way um, because, yeah, it, they just seem to fit. Right, I'm just sort of looking and I can't seem to see. Oh, hmm. Princess Kate Ditchman. <laughs> right, that's a data. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. Um, I was on the phone quite a long time, actually. <laughs> um, at least, oh, let me have a look. Um, did she ring me through WhatsApp? Do you know what? I have no idea. So we're actually on the phone for an hour which is awesome. So yeah, so I've been on the phone with my daughter for an hour and while I was on the phone to her, um, I just sorted out all of my bits. I found lots more of these elements. So my bit box that was currently a mess is now all sorted. So I did get some it done. And then just so you guys didn't have to see it um, in all the cards, I put the um, the layers. So it's just, um, oh, it would fall down, wasn't it? So um, I've just, sorted uh, so I've just done that so you didn't have to see so all we have to do is just put a few bits in so as we were as I was sat there I think I'm going to go with this one because we've got the holly on there um and I think oh I think that's lovely so let's have a look to see what we've sort of got that we can sort of put on um and I'm thinking that I want to have that just underneath there so let's stick that put my glue um so yeah so that's going to go there and then I've got these trees, little Christmas trees, so let's put that there. And it doesn't matter that they're going to be covered because when you open it up it just means that it's got its own little little something hasn't it. So that and then that, yeah, I like that and then that'll stick there. So I'm just going to do half, okay, like so and then stick that on. Again, not using any ink for this. I don't. I don't think we we need it. Um, oh, but that looks lovely. And then inside, I just want to put something on the inside. So I am thinking maybe one of these as well. But this time, let's fussy cut around it so that yeah, it's not um, that long shape. Uh, a rectangle. It's more yeah. More delicate so it's gonna go do that so then once this is done this is another one done I'm wondering if Quincy's wanting out because he's just they've been asleep behind me and actually I haven't opened up the back door so I might have to go and let him out so um, I'll stick this down and then I'll go and let him out and then I'll come back so let's pop that on there like so I mean that just looks lovely doesn't it cut out and you know what I'm going to pick up one of these stamps and have a little stamp there as well I like that so that is card number three so I will be back in a moment to do card number four I'm just going to let Quinny out okay so that is done um now let's do this next bit so um just move like I said I have sorted everything out so which is all good so let's glue these on and then find the topper that goes with these ones so it's just all about finding what goes with each paper that I've chosen and um, what goes the best so yeah right and then let's stick that one on okay so there we have it so these are our elements uh, no I don't think that one goes with that one that one looks nice um, no I 
I love this one. Oh, actually, that one might go. Um, oh, I think I like that one. Yeah, I'm thinking that one. All right, let's go with that one. So let's pop these ones back. Either way, they're all going to have to go nicely. Right, the first thing I'm actually going to do is stick this down so I know what we're doing. Um, because this has to go, like, it has to go right at the bottom. And it fits perfectly right at the top. So there is that. And then we, we can open it up. So what I want to do, I think, I want to have one of these windows so let's go with a smaller one just there um, I love these windows I just think they're absolutely awesome and this one has the robin on so that's going to go there I do have a little tiny baby tree so I'm going to pop that on okay um, and then wondering whether or not to have something else on oh I have these buttons which I really like um, there's a snow globe one no no um, holly what about some holly no I think I think I'm just sort of looking to see uh, there's just oh there yeah, I'm going to have a gingerbread man. There's just something missing, and I wasn't quite sure, but I think that gingerbread man does it. So there he is. Oh, lovely. And then inside, I do have one more gingerbread man. So I think we should have him, but I think I want one of these, the reefs with the, gin yeah, with the gingerbread man in. So let's glue that down. Okay. So just like that, and then we're going to grab our um, little gingerbread man and stick him down. So there is a card number four. So it's actually quite quick once we've got every, like everything um, together. Um, so once you start sticking everything down, so these are, I mean, these are already prepped, which is a fab. So you've just got to work out so it's that way. Um, yeah, so we've done that. We've done the hardest um, work with doing um, the embellishments because that's like sorting the composition out. With these ones, we're literally just popping on. So this is nearly gone. So I'm gonna have to grab some more glue. Okay. Um. So yeah. So I love that. Um. It's really easy just to go together. This one straight away. I want that. Um, I just, yeah, there was just something about it that I just knew that's what I would like to do. Right, um, I did have a Nouveau glue somewhere already out and I can't find it. So, let's have a look. I don't know what's in that one. Um, I think that's, uh, it's like a, what do you call it? Is it still, um, yeah, it still is. So this is like, um, well, it was gifted to me. But, yeah. That is really hard to get out. Okay. I'm just going to stick that on there. So, yeah, that's just, it's too hard to come out of that one. Um, I wonder if I used my glue up and not realised... Um, I might have to get another one out. Like I said, I don't really want to get another one out if I have one. What's this one? Um, this is Bonds, Beads, Sequins and Rhinestones. So this is actually... Um, does it say what it is? I got this from um, the works. So... And I've not used it yet. Oh yeah, that needs chopping off. But it just says, oh, it, I think this is a fabric glue. So we don't want a fabric one, do we? No. Oh, I have a cheap one here. I'm trying to use up my extensive stash of glue because would you believe it, I have loads. 
so um, and where it's all come from I have no idea um, so I'm wanting to use as much up as I can so that I can just stick with my favorite ones um because I don't like wasting I hate wasting so yeah right okay so there's that now here I feel like I want to add um, the holly just there yeah I think so so just pop that glue on so this glue that I'm using you can actually use it as a um, like a like a glossy accents but I have a massive bottle of um, glossy accents so I'm quite happy just to use this oh do you know what I'm gonna use that as well because I think that looks quite nice just there okay so that's down um yeah the only thing I'm sort of wondering is I don't like that blue and that blue sort of quite off-putting um right this is such a shame because you've got the bird on that side but I'm thinking that we could have that there which gives us that pink okay just like that and then what about if we have maybe that like, oh I don't know actually um yeah I don't know I have no idea guys right oh I know what about if we grab a stamp yeah let's pop that stamp on okay so just like that so that's just gonna go into that I just don't like that blue I just don't think anything on it went very nicely so and then I'm gonna yeah last thing I'm gonna come in with is which is all I'm gonna get rid of that because that's getting on my nerves and the chances are I'll use all of this glue up in this one um, and I'm just gonna stick that there oh that is so pretty right so inside um, make sure that I finish definitely outside if, oh do you know what I'm going to use one of these so I know this is a nice strong glue so that will be great excellent right inside let's use this half of the um, the birdhouse so I'm just going to put that up against the edge like so and then we're going to have a little ticket as well just across that bottom edge so that is our um, fifth card. That is really nice. Right, that's not going to work. Um, let's use my fabric glue because it's going on to fabric. I think it would work, but I think it's no harm just popping in just that little bit of fabric glue as well um, so we can make sure that it's definitely stuck down. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave that to dry, but there is that one. So let's go on to our next card. So here it is, and we have our pieces here. So let's see. Um, that bit goes there, that bit goes there. So I'm just going to glue these down. Um, but yeah, I bought this glue because people had said it was just like um, glossy accents. And I've had it in my stash forever. And anyway, I ended up just buying glossy accents. So it's one of those glues, again, that is just sort of that I, I've bought and I have lying around. And I really do need to start thinking about, you know, um, using these things up so that... Because I've had to throw so much away. Oh, I like that one. So that's... Yes, oh, I like that one too. Um, I'm thinking actually that one. Um, so yeah, so I've had to sort of think about, um, you know, about instead of me wasting all my products, actually use them because it really is such a shame that these things are 
going dry. Um, I mean, I binned loads of my foam pads um, and it was just, yeah, I mean, they were all gifted to me by a family member that um, unfortunately has recently just passed. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, yeah, she wouldn't want me to hoard these things. She'd want me to use them. So that's what we're doing. Right, I have these little bows. So I'm thinking that we can have a little bow on there. Why not? So a little bit there and then stick that on. Oh, he like it. Um, right, I do have one that's ripped around. Yeah, I'm liking that. I am not the overly thinking with these, so I am just randomly popping them down. But you know what, guys? I'm having loads of fun. Um, and at the end of the day, that's what that's what it's about, isn't it? Um, it's about having a fun. Um, I did have to tell my daughter to get lost so that I could finish this because I was like, I'd sorted it all out and I started getting ideas in my head and I was like, I really want to play. Oh, we've actually got the glue gun on so let's use a glue gun for this so this one's going to be quite a 3d one but you know what i have them so why not use them so there and then i'm gonna have this bit oh dropping my glue everywhere okay this bit just in there like so right okay this, please be careful with your hot glue guns because they definitely, definitely burn. Um, and trust me, I know. Right, okay. Um, part of me feels like I want to have this on. I think it might be, yeah, that one's too big. Um, I'm going to have the one with the tree, I think. I just love these windows. I think they are fabulous. Fabulous. Okay, so that's there. Right, where's my cloth? I've got glue on my finger. Um, okay, what else do we have? Oh, I have a little bauble. Yeah, let's have that little bauble on. Just there, like so. And you know what? I'm going to have one up at the top, just there. I think, yeah, just like that. Um, really like that. I think that looks lovely. So I do have to wipe that glue off because this glue, is even though it dries clear, it does actually dry um, with like a sticky reg residue onto it. Now, inside, oh, I might put one of these actually. So I've got lots of these. So just down that corner of it there. Yeah, I like that. And then, oh, I've got a snowflake. Let's pop the snowflake on as well. I'm going to have to, oh, there we go. So just, just over that thought for, because, yeah. Oh, I like that. I really like that. And then, yeah, I'm going to pop this on as well. So this is just one of the tickets. And look at that, all of that glue spilling out. Um, let me grab a rag. Okay, right, there. Oh, how lovely is that? That is so cute. Okay, so that is card number six. Right. Okay, so let's get on to card number seven. Okay, let's roll the sleeves up. Things are about to get serious. Right, then we've got um, so this one, and it actually goes this way. So I'm just going to pop the glue on and move that big blob away from the edge. So let's stick that on. Okay, so there's our first bit. And then let's decide what topper we are going to use for it. And then once I've done this, I'm going to have to decide on what we're going to have for our tea. So I have some pork out, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with the pork. So 
so yeah. Oh, so cute. I'm sort of, I think I'm going to go for that one. Uh, I am missing one of the, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm missing one of the embellishments, but yeah, um, there it is. Right, okay, let's ink around this one. Um, just so that we have some, um, like you can see it. So I'm just going to use the festive berries again. I just think that goes quite nicely um, with this kit and with the paper pad. So I just put a small amount on my brush and then I'm just working that all the way around using what's on my brush and using what's on my, my mat. So like I said, all the way around. Okay, and then, I mean, that just stands out so much better. So let's get this glued down. Like so. So we just want to go halfway across and stick that down. I thought I had. Um, grab my cloth because I've just gone over just a little bit on there. And then I'm going to get rid of that bit of ink. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh, that looks gorgeous. I love it. Oh, see. Yeah, I no, I can't cover that picture up. The picture's too nice. Way too nice. Right, okay. Um oh yeah, I like that, but again, I want to just come around. I'm not gonna put any extra on my brush because there should be plenty on um just for what I'm I'm wanting it for. Um but yeah, that's going to just sit down in that corner over here, so just, just like that. Um, and then, oh, I love it, I love it. Oh, that is the same picture. So, again, just going around with my ink brush. Oh, right, and then we're going to stick that on. Right, just make sure that it's all spread. Yeah, loving that. I think that is just looking gorgeous and fabulous. Um, oh, really, really loving it. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on as well. So this is just the little lantern that comes in the kit. So like I said, it was from Shabby Dabby Duda, mainly this kit. Well, I don't actually know if I've said it in this video. I know I said it in the first one, but I bought her Christmas kit that she released last year. Um, and I absolutely love it. And it's super, super cheap as well. But it is a, da a digital kit. So um, if I remember, I will put a link in the description box to her shop. Um, she only sells digital um, pieces, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful kit, and I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah. Um, if I haven't put it in, please can someone remind me. Um, so if you are wanting it and there's no link there, um, which there probably won't be because I'm terrible because I've got quite a few videos in which I need to edit and sort, sort out all in one go. Um, so yeah, if if I if I if I can speak, if I haven't put it in there, if you just let me know, um, I will find the link for you and I'll put it on. But you never know; I might surprise you. It might be there. I might remember. But um, I think the chances of me re of me remembering are very very slim. Oh my goodness, that's so cute! Do you know what these are? These Christmas cards are gorgeous. These are, th are going to be my family Christmas cards. I think this year because they're just too nice not to use so this one has to go with this because just with the brightness of that green so we're going to have to fill it up and do something with it so okay just pop some glue on like so but yeah um Thing. I'd have like um, some pork, like um, a chow mein style stir fry stuff there. So I might do some shredded cabbage and um, some carrots, maybe some peas and sweet corn, um, onion. Yeah, I might shred it and make like a stir fry thing to put the pork on. I don't know. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Hello. Hello. So little Lucy has come by. Do you want to say anything to my um, subscribers? I'm awesome. Yep, she is. She's awesome. I, I can definitely tell you that she is awesome. So yeah. So what has everybody been up to? How has everybody been? How have you been, Lucy? Let's, let's start with you. How have, how have you been? All right. And why are you off uh, college? Why are you not at college today? People. <laughs> because of people. Yeah. So there you have it. She's off college because of people. Oh, do you like my cards? Yes. They're lovely, aren't they? What's the lady doing? Oh, and there's Quincy. I think they might want a, a, a treat, Lulu, if you don't mind. Does, Lulu, does Lady want one too? Of course Lady wants ah! one too. That's a very stupid question. Yeah, and there's Quincy, <laughs> yeah. And there's Quincy telling you, get me a treat. I want a treat. So yeah, um, she got pinged to go for a PCR test. I don't even know if I, if I said it in this video. So if I have, I do apologise. Um, yeah, right, do you know what? I'm going to pop this on the inside. So just like that. Because we do not waste, guys. We do keep them. Now, I want something else for here. Oh, that's what we could have. I have some holly. Yes. Oh, definitely. We're having some holly. Okay. So that one can go there. And then I'm going to pop this one there. Like so. Loving that. The other thing that I was thinking of was popping on a bow. But by the looks... Oh, I've got this one. Um which we could sort of pop on. No, I don't like it. Let's have a look about one of these ones. Oh, I quite like that off to the side. Um, hmm. I like it hanging off. Right, we're just, just going to do it because I like it so. And I'm sure I can get it to fit into an envelope. If not, we'll just put it in a big envelope. It's as easy as that. <laughs> so yeah um okay i quite like that ticket as well do you know what let's just do it i know it's going to hang over a little bit but it doesn't really matter does it and just have that do you showing thank you are you playing with lady or quinn or one of them yeah 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 and then, yeah, I'm going to have that little stamp here. Just on there. Because why not? Oh, I like that. I really like that. So I just want to put something on the inside now. And I do think that we need to have a little window just to match the front. So we're just going to pop a little window there. And then we're going to bring in a piece of holly and then I think this one is done as well. So if you can hear anything, it is Lucy and the doggies having a play. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. So there is card number eight. Oh, hello, lady. Hello. So uh, Lucy sat lady on my shoulder. <laughs> right, okay. So just going to do this one. So it actually needs to go that way around. <clears throat> and then um, I've just got one more piece of paper in which to cut down because I didn't do them all when I thought I had. So we'll do that um, for our last one. But I just can't believe how quick and easy these cards have turned out. And they're absolutely stunning. And I just can't believe that I had a paper pad in my collection that just worked. I mean, how mad is that? It's like it was meant to be. So we have this one. So let's see what we've got. Now, this is the paper that we've got. So I'm thinking that one actually on there. And then this one on there. Or, no, that one on there. And this one on here. Yes. 
Yes, perfect. Right, okay, so let's get this glued down. So I'm making sure we've got glue on, and then what I'm gonna do is do half and half. Okay, make sure that's stuck down nicely. Okay, so that's nice and together. And then I'm thinking, I really, really like these, um, but I don't want the middle in. So we're just gonna cut a little circle out, like so. And then we're gonna come in from the back. And by coming in through the back, it gives us more control to do our fussy cutting. So yeah, um, so a little tip there. Um, I think I just shared the same tip in the last video. So if you saw the first video to this, so the embellishments are being made, then yeah. Um, I have just repeated myself, so um, yeah, I do apologise. But for all those new people watching, um, yeah, there you go. Right, okay, so that is that. Let's get rid of that. And then I'm just going to lift this up and I'm just wanting this to sit just around here, like so. Okay, so that's looking really, really nice. And then I'm gonna have. Do you like this? Um, yeah, I do. It's cardboard, so um, I'll pop it underneath my desk in a moment. Thank you. So she's just asked me if I wanted cardboard, and the answer is yes, because I have lots of cardboard. Not that I need any more cardboard, Lucy, but you know, I can't even squeeze it under my desk. Squeeze in there. No, it doesn't want to. There we go. I knew I'd get it in. Right. Okay, so then on the inside, um, I'm going to actually bring in one of the Christmas trees. So let's get the Christmas tree down. So just like that. And then I have this ticket here with a Christmas tree on as well. So we're going to do that. Okay, so that's down. Um, and I have a star here in which we're going to stick onto the top of the Christmas tree. Like so. Okay. Right. So that is the inside and that is the outside. So there you have it so that is oh I, I feel like I need something just up here um it just yeah oh no not that where's the tickets or the yeah I'm gonna put one of them on it just yeah it just seemed wrong it seemed like there was just something missing from this bit so um I'm going to stick that just there. Right, where's my rag? Because there's glue coming out from that. Right, perfect. Now I'm happy. Now it's finished. So there is card number nine. Right, so let's continue and let's do card number ten. So this is our last one. So I'm just going to cut this down to five and a half by five and a half. That's five. There's five and a half. Cut it in half at two and three quarters. Okay. So there's that. Um, let's bring our car base in. So I've already done inside. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pop some glue on. Like so. On there. And then pop some glue on here. Like so. I'm going to stick them down. Okay, so they're all nicely stuck down. Then we've got this absolutely beautiful piece. Now, do I want to... Yeah, let's add some red around. So again, coming in with that festive berries. Um, so just put a little bit on my brush and then I'm going to go all the way around. And just using what's on the mat... I'm just gonna go because I just I don't want this to be quite heavy. I want this to be a nice light colour, um, and it's just so that it just stands out just that little bit. 
Right, okay, so let's see how that fares. And yes, that is definitely how I want it. And then we're just going to pop some glue on. Okay, so there is that. Make sure there's no glue coming out. See, with my other glue, I know like um, it doesn't spread as easily. So, oh, love, love it. Um, I am thinking that I want to stamp on. So again, let's come in. Just checking on the doggy woos. Um, my lady is behind me. I have no idea where. Oh, he's coming. I was going to say I have no idea where Quincy is, but he he is not behind me as well. Okay, so a bit of glue on there in that corner. So I'm actually doing the opposite corners to what we had. Um, now I feel like we need some of this green. So. I'm just going to tuck some of these behind a few bits oh, and drop everything while I'm there. Um, okay, and then one up there, I think. Okay, just in. Oh, I don't want it that far under. Right, okay, so we've got that. Now part of me is thinking one of these Christmas trees. So just sort of, yeah, just peeking through. So let's do the Christmas tree. Okay, so that's gonna go there, like that. I'm loving that. Um, I don't know whether or not this needs turning over. There we go. Let's pull that. Perfect. Because I do feel like I want that ball. Right, okay. Right, and then we're just going to stick that on there. Because why not? I don't have, I'm not sure if I have another star. Oh, I do. I could have put a star on. Um, no. I think I'm just trying to add things for the sake of adding them now. I don't think any of this is sort of going to improve how this piece looks. Mm, no. I think I am literally just messing. Yeah. Right, okay. So that is that. Now, um, I'm wondering whether or not to bring in something along these lines. So I'm just going to fussy cut this out because I'm th what I'm thinking is this bit could be as if the tree is sat on it. Um, I don't know whether it'll work, but just by fussy cutting it out, it doesn't. Well, I mean, it does have the pink around it, but I, when I say fussy cut, I mean like closely cutting it. So yeah, I like that. So let me just pop that there. Let me grab my rag and just get rid of that extra. Oh, I tell you what I do have. I have this little gingerbread man. He's the last of my stickers. Probably doesn't even go, but why not? Um, and then maybe a gold star. Oh, look, you could be pink peeking out of the gold star. Right, I think actually, yeah, because there's a little gingerbread man there. Right, okay, so that is all I'm going to do for that. And then, oh, I might put that at all low. I don't think it goes at all. It's dead cute though. Um, I think that I'm just going to have one of the windows. Because I really, really like the windows. And 
Um, no. I was thinking a Christmas tree, but mm, I don't want to hide the bird. Although, no, I don't think that goes either. Um, I don't think. What about snowflake? Yeah, let's do the snowflake. Okay. Right. So, I think that is us done. Unless I can think of something else to pop on. But, yeah. No. No, no, no. Oh, oh, I quite, oh, I quite like that. Yeah, do you know what? I like that. So let's do that. Um, uh, glue. Right. Okay. I'm definitely, definitely done now. <laughs> she says while well, picking up more stuff. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna just do it. Right. Now I'm now I'm done. I'm absolutely positive that I am done. So that is what we've got. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, that looks absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do, so all of these that I have left from the kit, um, so I actually have quite a few bits left. So um, I hadn't realized actually how much I'd already cut out from the kit um, until I emptied the box. So I'm gonna make sure that everything's sort of, all of these bits that are like from that kit are the same. I'm gonna have to go and sort Quincy out. Um, so I'll tidy this up and then I'll be back. Okay, we're all tidied up, so let's have a look at the 10 cards we have made. So we've got this far. Uh, I, do you know what? I think these have just turned out absolutely beautifully. Um, do you know what? Before we do anything else, let's unplug the glue gun, because if I don't and I forget, that could be a fire hazard. So, and we don't want that. So I'm hoping we can fit them all on so that you can see. But, oh, don't they just look amazing? Oh, they look really good. I'm, do you know what? I really, really love them. Um, and I think these are going to be perfect to send out in, um, yeah, in my Christmas post. So, I've got two left. And then these two. Look at those. Aren't they just stunning? So there you have it, guys. Those are my cards that I, we have made today using yesterday's embellishments. Um, they've turned out beautifully. So I have used the kit from Shabby Dabba Duda, and I have used this paper pad from Craftbox. Um, we do have some more pages left in this, actually. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 10 sheets left. One of them is a fussy cut sheet. I'm thinking we're gonna have to come on, we're gonna have to use the rest of this and the rest of these to finish off some Christmas cards. Because yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful set. So I will come on and I will do some more of those with you in a couple of weeks so we will finish that off but that is it for today guys thank you everybody so much for watching i hope it's been inspirational and you've enjoyed it um i'm gonna leave it there and i'm gonna say um goodbye to you all so yeah happy crafting everyone and please do take care bye